Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my setup for my B6 ringed print pression planner. Now I did an unboxing of this, I think maybe about a week or two ago. It is on my channel somewhere. If I can remember, I will link it uh, either at the end of this video or down below. But uh, I wanted to show you uh, how I'm using this planner, at least how I think I'm going to use it right now. I'm really loving it. It's a fun size. It's kind of a fun color. It's the metallic silver, which I wasn't too crazy about at first, but once I started setting it up, I really, um, you know, I'm really, really liking it. It's starting to grow on me. So again, this is the B6 Ringed Planner by Print Pression. It's the snap closure. And like I said, if you're interested in seeing all the details of this particular planner, uh, please refer to that other video where I do the unboxing. So right here on the front, I have a Ollie clip, which I've had for years. And this is where I started to see that I really liked the color of this um, planner because it really just worked with the theme and kind of the setup that I kind of found and stumbled, stumbled upon as I was setting it up. So I just shopped my stash and I used some scrapbook cardstock that I already had on hand. It wasn't anything that I bought. Uh, the only thing that I didn't have in my stash was this dashboard photo which I actually found on Google and then I just printed it on photo paper and it turned out to be a really really pretty dashboard and then I laminated it so it you know it stays nice but I thought these colors worked really well with the silver and uh, so like I said it just kind of all came together really really well so in the front pocket here I have a couple of journaling cards again this is from my stash this is um, I can't remember the paper pad, but I did buy it at Michael's, and it's got kind of like a celestial uh, galaxy theme. And then these are just some journal cards that I got from uh, Dollar Tree about a year ago. Also in the pocket here, I have some stickers that I want to use. Um, these are Simply Gilded Bow stickers, and I think this is a freebie I got in a sticker order at some point. And then um, in here, I really like how this Magic Seeker kind of peeks out. And again, this is scrapbook paper. Oops. Oh, I folded it. Uh, it's scrapbook paper folded in half, and then I can kind of, you know, flip either side depending on my mood. And then this is just a black uh, piece of paper that I laminated just to put in there to kind of make this front pocket a little bit more sturdy. I mean, it's not, you know terribly floppy, but I wanted a little tiny bit more structure in the front cover, so I uh, put that in there. All right, so we've got the dashboard. I already talked about that. Um, next, we have these dividers. Now, these dividers are from the Kiki K B6 binder. Uh, I actually ended up giving away that binder because mine was in such bad shape but I kept the dividers. Uh, the only thing is I didn't like the little design they had, so I went ahead and covered the dividers with uh, scrapbook paper again from that same uh, scrapbook pad. And then I threw some stickers on here to kind of make it, make it fun. Uh, this is a Foxy Fix uh, personal wide dashboard, and you can see I've got a little picture of Kaden in there. Uh, but I'm going to add some more stuff in here. I just haven't figured out what yet. So this first section has inserts from the Michaels Rec Recollections Personal Size Ringed Planner. Now that planner is obviously too small for me to use as like a main planner. But what I've decided to do is uh, I'm going to keep track of my assignments of some of the online classes that I am taking. I'm taking a couple of online classes this year and I think this is going to be really good for me to just write down um, either the assignment or the reading that I have to do on a specific day and then I can come in here and then just check off or highlight uh, the study that I did for that day so I know that I got it done and I think it'll be a good way for me to stay on track. Again, there won't be any planning done in this 
section because it's too small for me, but it's the perfect amount of space for me to write down assignments and uh, reading and study stuff that I have to do. So that's what's going to be in this section here. And you can see I've already kind of started dating some of the pages. It's a, a week on two pages. And I don't like the Sunday start, so I either wipe this out or I cover it with the sticker so it works for me. Uh, the next section, again, I covered the divider with pretty paper. And this is um, another week on two pages section. These are the inserts from the Kiki K B6 binder. Uh, but I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to use them, but they fit so perfectly in here that I threw them in here and I figured I will find a use for them at some point. I don't know if I'll use it for school or if I will use it for something else. haven't quite decided, but they're in here and they're ready for when I do make up my mind. Now the next section, again, a divider that I covered with pretty paper. And uh, this is just lined paper, and you can see I've got some notes here of things I want to track. Uh, reading, my study time, affirmations, meditation. I do have some webinars that I need to watch every week. And then I want to make sure I take away, you know, write what I take away from watching uh, that particular webinar or that week's study material. So I want to make sure I write down the key concepts. And uh, this is just lined paper. The next uh, divider, again, covered in pretty paper, and this is just blank paper, so I can use this for whatever I can think of. Uh, right now, I don't have a specific use for blank paper, but again, it fit in here so well, so I threw it in. And then the next few sections are empty, but I do have the dividers ready in case I do want to add a section. So again, I just covered them up because I didn't like what was on them. And uh, these are the last three dividers. And again, there's nothing in these sections here. Uh, this is some lined B6 paper that um, came in the Kiki K binder. And again, like I said, it, it just fit, so I threw it in here. Then I have a, a page lifter here. And then I have the zip pouch from uh, the Kiki K. I think this was in a different... Oh, this was in my holographic zip around. So uh, I threw it in here, you know, just to put stickers or whatever. There's nothing in there right now. And then I have another Foxy Fix dashboard. And then in the back, I just have some stickers that I want to make sure I use up. And uh, in this back pocket, it's the same thing. Stickers. These are the freebies I got uh, with my print pression order. And then I have some uh, simply gilded stickers that I want to use because I am trying to use up all my stickers and then in this pocket I just have some pink sticky notes and then there's nothing in these pockets and I don't have anything anything in there but that is my setup so as you can see there's not a whole lot going on but it is uh, really functional for me and uh, because you know the rings are a nice size I was able to fit you can see quite a bit of pages in there and you can really stuff these things I mean I'm sure I could probably stuff more in here if I wanted to but because the cover is so um, you know it's big it's really accommodating for all the um, stuff you have inside like I could stuff a whole lot more in these pockets if I wanted to. But yeah, so that is my setup of my B6 Print Pressions um, Ringed Planner. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look inside and if you are using a Print Pressions B6, please let me know because I love watching setup videos and getting more ideas because um, I don't know, you know, I can always figure out another way to make this more useful or be more creative or whatever. All right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And please make sure that you are subscribed because I do have a lot more videos to come. And I will definitely catch you in the next video. Bye.